Where are all the people? Today we are at Choke Canyon State Park, and I feel like I'm being ungodly loud because it's so quiet out here because there is no. no one here. It is the eeriest state park we've been to. Um, usually, usually we get to state parks and there's like, even if we don't see very many people or anybody, there's still cars. Yeah. There's a couple of trucks over there with empty boat trailers, so I'm assuming they're out on the lake. But that's it. Like, all the other parking that's lots, it. nothing. And it was eerie from the start, because when we pulled in, we stopped at the, the little, like, check-in hut office thing, and it looks downright abandoned Yeah, not only there. was there no one there, but there was no office supplies empty. in there, so... And everything else that is here, like bathrooms or concession type standy looking things are all just shuttered and making weird eerie noises and freaking Lydia out no it's a raccoon on top of that that roof over there for the picnic area <laughs> we'll see if okay, we can get so that in all of us being here we have seen four deer we have seen a sign that says to watch out for alligators and, uh, There's and a, raccoon. a raccoon so um in the We're going to explore Choke Canyon, which is not a creepy name at all. And um, We're going to go hit a trail and uh, hopefully... Not die. Meet people? Mm, Would you want to meet no, people? No, I don't want to meet anybody. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to be here, see it, and, and go. Choke Canyon. <laughs> it's not a raccoon. It's a buzzard that just landed behind us. That's not a bad omen. I don't know what is. Just walking down the middle of the street because you know there's nobody here. Super weird. If you were expecting shade, you're not gonna find it on the bird trail. What you will find, however, is tons of baby mesquite trees that are full of sharp, giant thorns. They're growing in the middle of the trail. So watch your step, because that is not going to be fun to step on. <laughs> He's so tiny, could fit right in the palm of my hand. A car. We're not alone. I feel like that part in the Brave Little Toaster where everybody in the cabin hears a car and they get really excited and then it just goes by. Well, the master doesn't come back. But we're not alone. No, we and, got a bunny. And that was sad. <laughs> Mister.
progress. Still haven't found any people. However, there are two units to this park. We were in the South Shore unit, which is the smaller unit, but I made a mistake because when we passed by the bird trail, I pulled up the online map and there's a bird trail listed in the Callahan unit, but not in the other unit. So I assumed that we were in the bigger Callahan unit. We were not. There's a baby deer, there's a fawn. Anyway, so we are now in the Callahan unit, which seems much more up to date. Um, if you're coming here to visit, come to this unit, unless you intend to maybe go fishing in a boat. I think this is where all the action is. This is where the campgrounds are. Um, we're going to drive over there in a second, see if they have like RV parking areas and stuff. But there's a huge complex here that's like a gym and there's some tennis courts over there and some like a nature center. Of course, everything is closed now because it's six o'clock in the evening, but the Callaham unit is where it's at. This is the tent camping area, which is located at the 75 acre lake. It's actually really, really gorgeous. And as you can see, fully available, because there's no one here. Where are the people? Where is everybody? <laughs> Lydia is very excited. She found an owl sitting on a branch. Heaven is all I can taste. You've overrun my heart. Park recap. Choke Canyon. Um, first impressions. We figured this was the park we were going to get murdered at if there was one. It was, it was really creepy. It wasn't so much that it was like, there just was nobody there. There was nobody. It really felt like we shouldn't have been there. Like when we were in the South Unit, it just felt really run down, abandoned. There was a couple of people there, but... Like fish or people fishing, like, you they know, were, parked there. Their trucks were there with their trailers, but they were in a boat. Yeah, on not the lake. There. So we didn't see them. It but was just weird. <laughs> it was it was it was strange. We were a little we were a little not so much worried, but it was just, it just felt weird. We've been at parks even like after closing because like the, the, the staff is not here. Yeah, and we've camped in parks on the week in the middle of the weekday after closing. There's still people, mm-hmm. <laughs> and we just didn't see any. And the fact there are no people was strange. But we made our way to the other side. Yes, if we'd have, I, I'm a little upset at ourselves. Usually we do a little bit more research before we head out. Um, this was all a tad last minute um if we'd have done our research we would have known to come to the callaham unit first and we didn't i'm a little bit mad at ourselves for that because this unit is really really nice again 
still not a lot of people. We finally found them in the like the RV section, which is where we are now. Yeah. Um, but you know, again, we're here after hours, so mm-hmm. sometimes there's just not people, and, and it's, it's a weekday. weekday. But the main part over here, we didn't really do any of the trails over here because no. we're running, we're running out of light. But the wildlife is amazing. Just sitting here, oh my I'm looking maybe two deer. 80, a, 80 feet away from us, there's a baby deer and, her, baby. And, and his mom just, just, just grazing. Just chilling out over there. The birds on the lake are amazing. You can hear the cicadas starting to kick up now. We So, so far, let's count them out. We've seen... I don't know how many deer. Uh, tons I don't know of deer, how many. babies. Tons. Uh, we haven't seen a, we haven't seen any bucks, but we've no. seen we've seen fawns. Mostly babies, and, mostly fawns. Mostly fawns and. Uh, we saw four javelinas. Yep. I've never seen a javelina. Family of javelinas. We saw an owl. Oh my god! Like you could not. It, it it picture perfect. Like you could have made a painting of how perfect that owl was on that one little like dead branch tree. Growing up, I'm. Mean, I oh. We have seen dozens, <gasps> dozens of dozens. bunnies. So many, and little baby bunnies. It's a and, baby. And just recently, we saw turkeys. We did. We didn't really get a good video of them because they were kind of running away from our truck when we pulled in. We kind of spooked them. But there was two gigantic turkeys. I got a picture. So one them. of the advantages of there not being a lot of people around is the wildlife has just come out mm-hmm. to just to just be, which I mean, is great. Every time we turn a corner. Oh, there's another, there's another, there's another. It's just been phenomenal. It's been phenomenal. It is the saving grace, really, of this park. park. Yeah, and and, and this park is mainly about the lake. Mm -hmm. Um, So it seems like it's a very popular place for fishermen because there's a lot of boats. And uh, the camping area is decently full. I mean, it's not super full compared to some of the places, but there's definitely maybe a half a dozen trailers and people out here Mm -hmm. enjoying that. Um, this side is mowed. Everything, everything is... And the trails do look really nice. The The one trail that we did on the other side... Um, it was a little overgrown. It was a little rough as far as like trails go. It wasn't very pleasant to walk on. There's no shade. Um, it could be mowed down a little more. There's a lot of mesquite growing up in the middle of the trail, which is not the best. But over here, we've driven by some of the, the walkways in, and they seem much better maintained. There's a little tiny bird. Sorry, the wildlife is very distracting. Uh, the trails seem a lot, a lot better maintained. They're wider. They're gravel. They're very, very nice. I would have liked to have gone on a couple of those. So the main takeaway is, if you come to Choke Canyon State Park, come to the Callahan Unit. It's amazing. It's amazing. Also, we had one of our viewers. Um, ask us to maybe talk a little bit more about what camping is available at the parks we go to. So here you can tent camp and there is RV camping. I didn't see any pull through spaces while we were driving through, just like the pull straight in kind of things. Yeah. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to know more of when we come to these parks, please let us know in the comments. We would love to answer your questions. We just and, want to be helpful. <laughs> and as always, please like this video, subscribe if you want to see more things like it, comment, let us know how we're doing. If there's anything you want to see that mm-hmm. we're not showing, uh, just let us know that you're out there. That'd be great. Thanks, bye. <laughs> Thanks, bye. <laughs>